everybody part two I'm back I think I went a little bit over so what I just did is stamp these orange flowers around the envelope okay next on all the other envelopes I'd use the word beautiful from this Teresa Collins stamp uh, I mean stencil then we'll put happy here it's like happy meal why not so I'm just gonna use my distress ink here and distress this on and your blending tool and just sorry I'm trying to there we go that other words getting torched from me doing this okay just add a little it just adds a bit of interest sorry there's a lot of blank empty space in here it's early and I'm not that talkative so Anyway, so we have that. I like to let that dry too because I, I do want to put um, a layer of decoupage on here at some point. And the distress ink, you know, if you decoupage over, you'll lose your image. So you don't want to do too much of that. Okay, and then we're going to use this really, isn't this beautiful? This Heidi Swap. Um, this is teal blue ink. And then I'm just using this Prima stamp. It's from. Okay. From the um, Life Lifetime collection, it's a glaring. Sorry. Um, so we're just going to stamp some random little flowers around here. So just kind of gonna uh, put them here. We'll do one here. Remember to, if you have your envelope open, remember to fold it so you can. You know, then I like to kind of add. Um, I think we'll do one kind of here. And maybe up here. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to take the, um, these little, little dit dotty things and put them around just for some added interest in, in the, um, I mean, you could draw these by hand with a, you know, like with a little pen, you know, just. But this is way easier since they did it for me. I am going to use this. Yeah, sheer laziness, truly. But that's okay. Um, put a couple over here. We'll put one over here just for the heck of it. Okay, that should be good. <clears throat> so we're almost done. Oh, and then, okay, here comes the fun part. We're gonna finger paint. This is this golden fluorescent pink. Man, this is some yummy paint. And I'm just gonna use my hands and paint the flower petals. Um, and I'm just going to use the lid as my little bit. Isn't this gorgeous? This color it's so rich and vibrant. It is beautiful. Here, I'll move over. Sorry. There we go. I live in Minnesota and finally warming up here. Oh my gosh, it's been horrendous winter. 70 the other day. So here, just using finger painting. We live on a lake too and the ice is starting to come off. Yay. It's 
So that's the fancy painting. Just use your little fingers. And then after this dries, um, honestly on my first ones I can't remember the exact order I did everything in, but I think you want to seal it before we use the white pen. Because I think I used that white pen and it ran. Maybe I didn't let it dry. I mean it just erased it when I went to coat it with a layer of um, decoupage. So I'm, it's the Sakura um, gel pen, that 153, the white pen. And I could be wrong. Maybe if I had let it dry more, it would have been fine. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, man. Love it. Uh, but here's the fancy painting technique, your fingers. Which I like to paint with my fingers a lot. Maybe I liked finger painting as a kid. Who knows? Excuse me. Anyways, okay. So we're going to let this dry. And then I was working on this other one. So we'll switch places. And I already coated it with decoupage. Now I should put this on. Okay. I took a, um, I just found a, these are old papers. And I just had some scraps. So I used my one and a half inch um, Fiskars paper punch. You know, I just went in with this and just kind of found an image I like. Because they're going to go in the little two of the circles here. They're going to go right in here. And I'm not going to do it right now. But I'm going to, that's where they go. Well, actually I can. We're going to just decoupage this in. And then you can, then you can, um, cut them. So, just, you know. get torched from this mixed media stuff. I find I have to um, my nails are starting to kind of split and catch so I get my nails done it's like oh I don't like getting them done. They're kind of sensitive so it kind of hurts sometimes. I just think I'm a big baby in that place but that's hard. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Well, anyways, you kind of just... You could glue this down, too, I guess. If you wanted. Okay, so that's that. Let's dry that a little bit, because I do need to do some of the ink work already. So, sorry for the noise of the dryer. So I'll, um, anyway, so the pen, it's this Sakura Signo, Univall Signo UM153. I had a different one, and it wasn't this pen, and I kept saying, gosh, I can't, these pens don't work for me. Well, it's really nice, actually. But sometimes you just have to use, you know, wipe on your paper to get the thing. So what I just did is I, um... I filled in all these little circles here just for a little added pop. You guys get to watch me do this. And then I drew in around the petals. I'll do that on a different one just so I don't. You know, and you just kind of got to be loose. I don't do a lot of pen work because I'm not, I don't think my hands are loose enough for it. I took a class with Janelle, well, Christy Thomason and Janelle Jacobson, and um, it was really fun. She does just such cool stuff, but she does a lot of pen work with her mixed media, and it's beautiful. And she's, but she goes, you got to be loose in your hands, and sometimes it's wound too tight to do it. 
course it never looks as good as that but I also need is hers but you know you need to practice so this just adds a little added pop of color Ooh, I just don't want to so we're just kind of loosely going over you know this is a lot lighter over here you know I didn't get as much pigment in the initial layer. Oop. I don't know if this is wet maybe. Okay. Don't like to go back over it because then it doesn't look good. Okay. So anyways that's pretty much the mail art. It was I love this technique. I love how rich um the color is it's just beautiful the background oh gosh um so check out Pringle Hill Studio she also did a little tutorial I guess she had presented it as a class and she put that up on her videos which was kind of fun like you can make your own little journal and um she did the you know created the backgrounds so okay So this is kind of the final step. Let's cut off these. I don't want to get. I don't want to get that ink. I don't want to smear it all. I guess it wouldn't really matter. So we're just going to cut this off. are so gunked up they're sticky and then there's our envies Mail art envelope. so there you have it everybody hope it helps you and you get some inspiration out of that and have a great day thanks for watching bye